Hello everyone, we will continue the topic macros and in the previous video, we covered what are the various limitations of the macros and the most important point we covered, macros are expanded at compile time, not at run time. Now into this particular video, we will compare macros with function modules we will compare macros with subroutines and we will cover the various points. Anyways, all points are more or less same. Whenever we will compare macro with function module or macro with subroutines. Now, the first point is macros are not reusable, whereas function modules are reusable. In the previous video, I put so much stress on to this particular point. Whenever you are defining a macro, you can call into that particular program only. You cannot call in any other program. So macros are not reusable in other programs. They are dedicated to that particular program only where you are defining that macro. Whereas function modules are reusable. Yes, this point anyone can understand. Yes, whenever we are creating a function module through SC37 transaction code, we can reuse at several places. We can need to simply, simply call through pattern button. Suppose with the help of SC37, I created this function module. So I simply called into this particular program through pattern button. So function modules are reusable. You need to just create once through SC37 transaction code and we can reuse at several places. Now I will come on to next point. I already put so much stress in the last video. We cannot debug a macro code, whereas you can debug a function module code. Suppose if you have a macro code, this is the macro code. If you want to debug, you cannot debug. You cannot put a breakpoint. Suppose if you are putting a breakpoint on the calling of the macro, Yes, whenever you will do F5, control will not go inside this particular code of the macro. So we cannot debug a macro code, whereas we can simply, simply debug a function module code. Yes, suppose this is the function module. I can put a breakpoint. Yes, if I want to debug the code, what is written in the function module, I can do F5 and I can simply, simply debug that function module code. Now I will come on to third point. Yes, we can pass maximum nine parameters in macros. We already covered macro with placeholder. What is the purpose of macro with placeholder? Whenever you want to pass the values, we are creating macro with placeholder. At that time we covered, we can pass how many placeholder? M% 1 to M% 9. It means 9. It means we can pass up to 9 parameters. We can pass up to 9 parameters only in case of macros. Whereas function module, there is no restriction. You can go for any number of importing parameters, any number of exporting parameter, any number of changing tables. So in case of macros, you have a limitation to pass only nine parameters. Yes, because that is placeholder itself. Yes, we are replacing that with, we are passing the placeholder and then we are passing the placeholder value. It means we can go up to nine parameters in macros, whereas in case of function module, no restriction. We can go for any number of parameters. And last point, I put so much stress in the previous video. During compilation, the macro call is replaced with the code. At the compile time itself, macro call is replaced with the code. This macro call is replaced with the code. Macro call replaced with the code. Macro call 
this replaced with the code but that is not with the case with function module whereas when we call a function module the control pass to that section of code at run time this is most most important difference you can see macros are at the compile time yes macros are expanded at compile time whereas function module yes whenever we want to go for function module the control passes at run time suppose if we will understand this particular point suppose if i am putting a break point i put this particular break point i am running suppose if i will go for input 1 to 10 and i am executing program will stop there yes now you can see at this point of time yes it is not at compile time whenever i will do f5 then after that only yes this particular line of code is there it means this code is at the run time and any interviewer will simply simply satisfied with your answer yes if you will tell macros are evaluated at compile time whereas function modules yes whatever the section of code is there it is evaluated or expanded at the run time so what is our fourth point yes during compilation the macro call it is replaced with the code whereas whenever we will call a function module the control pass to that section of code at run time itself now we will simply compare macros with subroutine and same to same points are there yes macros are not reusable where subroutines are reusable we already covered yes whenever you are creating a subroutine in one program you can use in any, any other program that is called as external subroutine if i will go for the example you can simply see suppose into this particular program we have this particular subroutine i can use this subroutine in other program if i will show you that program suppose if i will go for that particular program that is fully fully explained during the practical part of subroutines now into this particular program i am using that subroutine you can see i am using the subroutine sum of this particular program into this particular program so at that time we covered in program this syntax so your macros are not reusable whereas subroutines are reusable similarly function modules are also reusable yes now we'll come on to next point yes macros are expanded at compile time where subroutines are at run time we already covered this point when i covered this function module comparison also suppose if i am putting a break point suppose if i am putting a break point onto this particular subroutine suppose i am going for input i will go to execute so whenever i will do f5 i will go inside the code of the subroutine whenever i will do f5 you can see this is the code of the subroutine it means this code is expanded at run time not at the compile time whereas in case of macro whenever you will do f5 you will not go inside the code of the macro third point yes same to same we cannot debug a macro code whereas we can debug a subroutine code just now i showed you yes we are able to debug a subroutine code and last point yes we can pass maximum nine parameters in macro whereas subroutine there's no limitation you can go for any number of using parameter any number of changing parameter there's no restriction at all yes 
So what is the summary of this particular video? Into this video, we simply compared macro with subroutine and function module. And all points are same to same whenever we are comparing macro with function module or macro with subroutine. First thing we covered, yes, macros are not reusable. Yes, function modules are reusable. You cannot debug a macro code, whereas we can debug a function module code. We can pass up to nine parameters in macro, whereas we can pass any number of parameters in function module. Macros are expanded at compile time, whereas function module code, whatever is there, it is expanded at runtime. Same case with subroutine. Yes, you cannot. Subroutines are reusable where macros are not reusable. You remember whenever we reused a subroutine that is called as external subroutine. Macros are expanded at compile time where subroutines are at runtime. We cannot debug a macro code, whereas we can debug a subroutine code. We can pass nine parameters in macro, whereas we can pass any number of using, changing tables parameter in case of subroutine. And extremely important, few points are very important from the interview perspective. So that's it in this video. Thank you.